target InfoWars and why they're so scared of it. And it's simple. There's a war on men. There's a war on nationalism. There's a war on resistance. And who's going to resist a big global authoritarian takeover? Historically. It's, 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 it's men that, that tend to organize and lead against it. And that's why Gavin McGinnis, right after Glenn Beck took over CRTV, I know the inside baseball, that's why he got kicked off the air. And that very day he got kicked off, the FBI, so they can't get sued, said, actually, we never said he was an extremist group or the Proud Boys were bad. But it didn't matter. They'd already had leftist FBI tell the media that, so that just saying you're an extremist, you get banned off Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere else. So that's how this operates. If what was his crime? Saying we believe the nation state exists. We believe that men have a right to be men. They were yep. inclusive to all men. And it's fraternal order of men. Not men watching football. Not men watching basketball. Not men being led around by their nose by their so-called feminist wife that really just gets orders from the government. But no, just, just men being men. That is incredibly frightening to the globalists. And having nationalist movements letting people get organized and, and, and come together that is extremely frightening because if you can't let men organize and you won't let them get together well then you've got total checkmate over the civilization and over the population and that's why there's a war on men because there's a war on the family there's a war on the individual and there is a system where now the state becomes the pimp the pimp daddy of the women Women are the house slaves. I'm not saying women are the house slaves. I'm not saying women are even buying this, but this is the big goal is to divide men and women from each other. And if you can do that as a species, we're done. So this is full spectrum dominance that we're facing, period. So we'll talk about some of that today. We're going to have Gavin McGinnis on the show here in the next few days. But uh, make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, the establishment is making their move ahead of some very, very big events. Now, the Democrats and the incoming head of the House Intelligence Committee have made open announcements that they have a plan to arrest President Trump. That's right. Now, they can't really do that under the Constitution. Wow. They don't care. There's a lot of stuff they do that isn't in the Constitution. Uh, the Schiff, Trump may face real prospect of jail time, the quote. All this as we learned that the president's been dead on, that Comey perjured himself hundreds of times before Congress has been caught perjuring himself after his new closed-door testimony in the transcript was released. He had to admit he lied. So much more coming up today and the fall of the New World Order starting in Europe, we predicted straight ahead as well. We have reporters on the ground in Paris. Check out my next video. I'm going to talk about that.